Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to our XCOM 2 Commander playthrough. Uh, as you can see, I've decided to go with the team that we uh, ended the episode with the last time. But before we head into the mission, I want to quickly uh, step by a room that we haven't checked up on in a while. Because actually, I want to take a look at the Guerrilla Tactics School and the upgrades we can buy. Because we have a lot of supplies at the moment. And we could use a few more tactics. So Vulture is a really interesting one. So enemies drop an additional item with every timed loot drop. The sooner we can get that, the better. So I'm going to buy that right now. But now we have a way more important one. Wet work plus 25% experience gained from kills. That one uh, we'll be able to uh, use a lot as well. So uh, wet work, here we go. There we go. Let's head back to the bridge and start the mission. So, uh, we have Humongous, our healer, Benito Buffon, our specialist, then we have two Grenadiers, Ulrich Edel and Cecil Harambe, and then uh, Christoph the Runner, of course, our Ranger. Here we go. So we simply need to hack an Advent Workstation, of course, try to take out every alien that we encounter as well, which will be a bit harder without Cedric, the fire support from our uh, sharpshooter. But Operation Blood Stank, that sounds bad, but begin. Dr. Tigan has picked up indications of an exposed access point along the Advent network near here. And we may be able to use it to recover data crucial to the alien's latest project. As always, there's a catch. The terminal is on board one of their transport trains passing through the area. We'll need to move in quickly, secure the train, and eliminate any hostiles. If we can do that, we might just get a shot at stopping their progress. So, uh, recover mechanical processing designs from Advent Network and neutralize all enemy targets. Our two specialists will come uh, in really handy to hack that little terminal. Uh, so that shouldn't be a problem. And everything else, well, we'll have to handle with our Grenadiers and our Ranger. Uh, as usual, we're gonna just use uh, Christoph as our Ranger. Our Scout. There we go. Dropped off. Right next to a building, apparently. I thought we had to hack a train. Oh, wow. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. So the train is... Ooh, eight turns for that. And it's it's pretty blocked off. So we need to go even further than that to enter the train. We don't really have a clear line of sight. Unless we may be able to blow open the doors. But I don't want to risk that. So... Let's see what we can do. By the way, as always, you can still add characters to the character pool. Uh, I've not been uh, recruiting that many rookies. Just because I wanted to give you guys a chance to uh, add more characters. So, Ulrich. Of course, one of our custom characters. Let's put you over there in full cover. And, uh, well, Christoph might actually lead the charge again since he's uh, our runner. I do want to have an agility PCS for him. So that he, we can boost his mobility a bit. Um, still hasn't spotted anything apparently. So let's slowly Even move that up. up. We don't really need to take care of cover right now since we're still in concealment. So let's Confirm. just do that. There we go. Let's see. Uh, Ulrich move up. Well, Look we kind of know that there's nobody the close by. So we might as well just move everybody up as far as they can. Confirmo. Um, let's put Humongous in the back as our healer. And then uh, Cecil Harambe over there. There we go. Alien activity. Seven turns to get over there, but we don't know what the opposition is. It will be quite a lot. Oh, we already have... Let's see if what we can hack in that tower. If there's anything interesting in there, I might actually go for it right now. Unless it, of course, uh, alerts a nearby group. Then we might have to wait. So soldier dodge increased by 33 for 3 turns. Squad dodge increased by 33. Not that good uh, for hack as, uh, as far as hack rewards go. So let's not do that. Especially not now. Uh, so the drone returns, and then we can see... Uh, Kristoff, take a look a bit further, because I don't want to risk anything here. Maybe go around the car. There we go. 
And then, how far can I go? I can't for some reason. I'll put you right over here. If they're behind this... Okay. No biggie, apparently. Let's put you next to the truck, Ulrich. Seems still clear, which is really, really weird. We need to over there. Let's put uh, Hugh right next to... Christophe over there. Still nothing, which is actually bad, because that means they're pretty grouped up. Because we're almost... Yeah, we're actually at the train already, so we... We'll probably be able to get there. I hear a turret, probably on top of the train. So we're gonna have to be careful for that. Let's move uh, Harambe over here. And let's put Benito on Overwatch. I'm not gonna put... Uh, and Ulrich as well. I'm not gonna put them in danger by moving them closer. Are they all behind the train? That is gonna be a problem. Um... Okay, uh, Cecil, since you're over there, might as well move you further. Seems like there's civilians over here. Don't want to alert them either. Moving the designated coordinates. Now, anything? Yeah, okay. Whoa, okay. So, uh, a reinforced turret, two sectoids, and a viper. Ooh. Don't want to alert those guys just yet. And... Oof. That's a pretty hefty bunch, isn't it? Ulrich, move along the sides. I'm gonna see how far... Oh, shit. That is... What is that? There's an advent captain nearby. We should attempt to disable it with the Skulljack. Why? Why does this trooper have that much armor? Is that a heavy trooper already? That is... Disconcerting. Um, let's put everybody... In a better position here first. Seems like they, their reach, their uh, line of sight reaches up until this tree over here. So we could safely move Christophe over over there. And just want to take this slowly. Because once we start shooting, we're going to have uh, at least five enemies. If we don't trigger the turret immediately as well. Because I think it's just out of sight. Because it's ju just a shadow right now. So... Gonna have to be really careful in how we set this up. Uh, you right at the back, and then everybody on Overwatch. There we go. Okay, so they're moving. Wait a second. Did I just see a turret behind us as well? Or was that just a piece of scenery? Okay, they're getting close. What? What is this? What am I looking at here on the roof? That's not a turret, right? Okay, that's a spotlight and a few antennas. I don't really need to handle the trooper and the officer over here if I don't want to. I'm gonna start moving everybody away from those two. Let's get you closer first. Um, can't enter without making a noise. I can jump over the fence here, though. There we go, using the rock. Oh, and there's the turret, of course. Yeah, should have seen that before. Um, but we can actually put that to our advantage, I think. So let's move you guys, Christoph, and uh, Humongous along the way here first. So let's put you over... Let's put you where Cecil was. And just take you around the sides here. So I put you over what here. That shouldn't trigger anything. According to the game itself. Okay, that sound spooked me. And the trooper and the officer are coming into view again. Which I didn't really want. Okay. So Vrijer is probably the only guy that still has sight on him. Which is interesting to say the least. Um, Benito, I want to position you over here. And that should allow you to get sight of the turret. And now, how far do I have to move you back? To keep you out of sight of the uh, trooper. Okay, I think that's enough, right? Can I see the troopers? No, okay. So now I'm pretty safe to start uh, attacking. If I use... Haywire protocol on the 
turret. What are my chances? If I can take that thing as mine, we have a very nice position to uh, kill those sectoids and the viper. 61%. I'm gonna risk it. Uh, we have plenty of grenadiers to take out the turret if needs be. But I'm just gonna take it. There we go. Take temporary control of this automated turret. Thank you very much. And I'm not really sure if this drops our concealment as well. Yeah, okay, so it does. That's not that bad. Because now we can actually start firing. So they're going to drop down, but the, the only thing they can see from there is the turret. Um, Let's see. What's... What is that? Oh, that I can shoot at the gas canister. Do need to be careful. Oh. Well, Sectoid, you have done a dum-dum. I'm gonna blow you up in a second. Um, but first, I think we can fire twice with this thing. If I'm not mistaken. So we have the Sectoid over there. 53% chance. Uh, yeah, well, why not, eh? Because this unit is... The uh, expendable, that's what I wanted to say. Expendable. Can we shoot again? I think. Yeah, we can shoot again. And we don't need to reload this thing either. So, uh, really, really handy that we have that. And now they're going to try and kill it. Uh, and doing our work for us. Okay, so apparently Kristoff didn't lose his concealment. Which is interesting. Cecil, what are your shots? You can shoot at the third. But the, sh the third is in our camp right now. So... You know what? Just blow up. If I move you, let's move you a bit further first. So let's move you over here. Why is that? I'm still afraid that if I move too far, yeah, I shouldn't actually move too far. If I move too far, that I will trigger anything else. I'm just going to stay here, use the grenade on the sectoid, and that should actually blow him up completely. Um... Yeah, here we go. Go hard on me. So that's six damage. And I think... Yeah, okay. There we go. Exploded. Um, what is actually on fire right now? Because he was talking about something's gonna blow. But yeah, okay. Apparently nothing. So we can't see the other two units. Because the third is the only thing that can actually see them. So, with that done, I don't break concealment with Kristoff. So, I might actually put him a bit further. Uh, put him here. Don't put him any further, I think. Maybe over here. That's not that bad, actually. There we go, because he's still in concealment. Okay, then we have Smongo. So, Humongous. Um, could move you over here and just put you on Overwatch. Uh, you can go on Overwatch, Ulrich. I think I, I put... Yeah, okay, Overwatch. There we go. So now the turret is still hacked. And I think the Viper and the Sector are gonna try and shoot at the turret. Oh, and these guys are uh, just coming into view. But they have a surprise waiting for them. Sadly, it went over their head. Much like this joke, probably. Nicht gut. Nicht gut, in the dart. Indeed, that's what I wanted to say. Indeed. Okay. I think that turret did a bit too much work. Um, so now what is that Viper going to do? It's just going to fire at the third, I think. There we go, tree armor, so that's going to hold for a few turns, I think. So I might actually t get a few shots off with that thing. Is the sector going to fire as well? Here's it does. That's also one damage. Don't know why we got a cinematic for that. And then a... Okay. The advent network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Oh, well, we still have three turns. We still have three turns. That's not that bad. Uh, and actually, we do need to take care of that. Those guys over there. So... 
who can see those guys actually? So Benito has a shot on a few, oh well, not a few, one actually. One of the, the, the officer and it's not that good. Uh, humongous, how far can we put you? We can put you over here. Maybe giving you a bit more sight. Apparently it does. Also 35%, which is pretty bad, but we can make that better. We're also starting to lose a lot of cover here because I, I blew up everything. Um, Cecil, uh, let's go over here. And I think if I can, I'm going to leave you an overwatch. But I'm going to have to see about that just yet. Um, one grenade should be enough to take care of those guys. So if I can, is I think... Oh, is that as far as I can go? Ooh. Uh, maybe move a bit closer then first. Let's put you right over Show here. Gonna have to be careful not to trigger any of the uh, troops over there. You know what? While we're at it, I just want to fire with the third first. Because if we can take out one of the sectoids... Yeah, that sectoid where we were firing at already. Um, that would be nice. But of course, the other ones could be really annoying as well. But first, let's just fire at the weakest one for now. That's a hit. And if we can do that again, that would be really, really nice. No, not that one. That one. Ooh, it wasn't meant to be. Okay, could have set that on Overwatch as well now that I realized that. But hey. Uh, frag grenade. Can I get both of you? I should. No, okay, so I'm gonna focus on blowing up this entire bit here. Just so we can get a clear shot at the... Well, the officer is that, right? That's the officer on the left. There we go. Blow it up. That's a good one. So now the car is rigged to explode as well. It's not going to just yet. But it's a start. Um, Kristoff is still in concealment, actually, so I might, might want to get a bit closer. Because if we can get him concealed right next to the workstation, that would be nice as well. But do we have to take that into account first? Um, I can still move Benito, I can't move you. So, well, not if I want to shoot with him anyway. So the officer is in plain sight, so if you can hit him, Hugh, he's dead. Please? Oh yeah, critical 10 damage to the face. Okay, so that trooper is gonna have to move. I'm not gonna be able to do much about that. Except maybe... Hmm. I still have uh, Cecil's shot here as well. So I'm gonna put him on overwatch. I'm on it. If that works, that would be nice. I'm gonna have to move... Uh, Benito up further because if we want to reach that uh, locked thingy over there we're going to have to do so let's see uh, the sectoids are all on the other side of the train so they still should be focused on the turret not on me so if I move to the back I might have immediate sight on the, uh, the workstation if needs be there we go risked that a bit but now, let's move Kristoff over here. Good copy. Moving on target. i put you all over what? They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading. Bradford, god damn it, stop scaring me like that. Okay, so... Oh, you actually see the sectoid through the... Through the <laughs> Hello! Hello. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go Overwatch. into Overwatch and hopefully... That's still hacked, okay, so we're gonna fire at that. We still have three sectoids and a Viper over there, uh, but they're really nicely sectioned off. So, Cecil, is that a hit? That is a hit. Do we get another one with his Guardian ability? Oh, it doesn't seem that we do. Ooh. Yeah, indeed, heavy fire in the zone. Um, Uh-oh, and the Viper has different ideas. What is he doing? Uh, that was completely useless, but never mind. 
So there goes the Sactoid firing at the turret once, so it, that takes damage. And then those guys are probably going to do the same thing. One damage. Okay, so one more hit and it's down. If we could get another shot off with that, that would be nice. But I don't think, I think the sector is going to hit that. Yeah, okay. There we go. Turret killed. Do have to be considered. So we know the three sectoids are over there on the left. Okay, what's he going to do? Okay, so he's jumping inside the train cart, which is actually pretty smart. So that car explodes. And now, we still have... Ooh, the gas grenade would be really, really handy to take out those sectoids, but... Ooh, so now that the car exploded, we still need to take out the trooper. I don't really want to risk anybody else, because... This is going to be tough, but I think... We could get, ooh, we could get a sword attack off through the wall here. If we can get to 8 damage, we can actually take that sectoid out. Maybe even a piece of the wall. So let's try that. I'm going to lose concealment anyway. There we go. Oh, yes, that was lovely. Okay, that was lovely. That was really, really good. Um... So that's the sectoid down. And now I need to make a decision. What do I do with that trooper? Because um, we don't have a lot of good cover left around here. Um, wondering if I should spread out everybody a bit. Since uh, they're gonna come. Those uh, sectoids and that viper are going to come. So we still have... Uh, three sectoids and a viper left. So that might be an issue. Um, the only thing we do have is Vryer's, well, Ulrich's uh, poison grenade. Uh, so he could technically kill off the trooper immediately. So let's put you over here. That's full cover. But of course... In a very bad spot. Um, let's pull Benito a bit closer. Preferably in uh, full cover. Probably this one. So that in the next turn he can move closer and hack the workstation. Oh. That is interesting. He actually has a shot on two of the sectoids now. And one of them is flanked. Okay then. Uh, what is your shot on that trooper? 35%, not really that good. So let's let's move to full cover as well, because we do want to have the best defensible position possible. Probably out of range of the trooper now, yeah? Okay. So what is my best option for Cecil here then? Because I think I'm going to have to move him out of sight of everything right now. Um... Well, at least in full cover, because I can use... The poison grenade does three damage on its own, and the poison will take care of him either way. So I think I'm going to just... It's kind of a waste, but I'm going to use the gas grenade on the trooper here. That leaves Ulrich in full cover. So it's he's poisoned, so he's going to die in, uh, at the start of their next turn. Um, and now we can put Harambe in a bit more of a defensible position. You know what, yeah, now that the trooper is out of commission, let's put you over here. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. So we have two Overwatch shots. Which, oh no, wait. Do I take that shot? I should, right? Because I'm not gonna get another flank shot from here. So let's take the shot. Oh, and it misses. 77% chance and it misses. That's gonna hurt. So there goes the trooper. So now we have a Viper and three Sectoids left. And I think that was a promotion for... Was that a promotion? I don't think that was. Oh, there goes the Viper. How the hell did you even know... What? You don't have sight of those guys. Okay, one Sectoid forfeits his turn and the other one... Is disoriented, okay. I can live with that because I don't need 
much orientation to hack the workstation. So both Harambe and Christophe are poisoned and uh, oh and Cecil lost his poison already. That is good. The Advent Network terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. Okay, so I think just to be safe, I'm gonna have to put Kistov on terminal duty. Uh, because he's gonna have to, uh, yeah. I don't think we'll be able to give line of sight to Benito in this turn because of the disorientation, because he has less of a movement choice now. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I don't think we have any other choice. So, let's put Kristoff in here. That's gonna expose him pretty badly, but it's the only chance that we have. So, here we go. Whatever you say. And now he's poisoned again because we needed to move to the cloud. Commander, we have confirmation of the but we can hack it. Point. It's not the one that should be doing it, but never mind. Oh, this soldier's hacking stat permanently increased by 20%. Oh, that is... That is sad. God damn it. I wanted to have Benito... I wanted to Benito to have that, actually, but... Too bad, too bad. His shots are probably terrible, yeah. As expected. I could cure the disorientation, but I don't think it's worth it right now. Uh, I should actually move him, though. Do we have a better look at who is where? Because... Let's see, we can move Ulrich up a bit Ulrich. further. Because he doesn't see any aliens yet. And he still doesn't, which is too bad. But yeah, we're gonna have to hack this with... Oh, shit. And this isn't gonna give him line of sight, probably. I won't be able to shoot with Benito, so I'm just gonna try this. Yeah, I know. Don't have line of sight, so... Uh, let's put you over here. Then we have the hacking that needs to be done. So that's hack the workstation. And just, yeah, go for the 11% chance. Not gonna happen, but there we go. Hacked into the network. Too bad about the hacking boost for Benito. We've got access. But that's that. Successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Yeah, that's easier said than done, Bradford. Um, so let's see. We're gonna have to put Vry as close as we can. Gate clear. And now we're going to have to play this really, really defensively, because... Ah, shit, I can't even move Humongous up. Harambe, what can you do, actually? You still have your flashbang. Can I toss that over the train from here? No, nope, doesn't look like it, so I'm going to have to run through the uh, the poison myself again. God damn it. On way. So, poisoned again. We could fire, but that doesn't... Oh, hi. <laughs> the Viper just put its head up. Um, let's go with the flashbang. If I can put it to the left, I would, but I can't. So, right over there. Disorient pretty much everything. Probably over there. Probably, probably. We got two confirmed disorientations, but... Because, yeah, the, the Viper is also disoriented. And now we have Hugh. What can we do with Hugh? I can actually move you up to here. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I say yes, but that doesn't really help us out. But, well, you can try this at least. Well, that's a bit of good luck then. Thank you very much. So they're still disoriented. Hopefully they're gonna do something stupid. There's a second sectoid that's confirmed to be disoriented, but I don't know where that last sectoid went. Ooh! Ah, oh, shit. Harambe got brutally murdered. And Kistov is panicking. That is, that is just great. And he missed the Viper. This is not going so well, is it? And there's the sectoid, of course. Yeah, let's let's shoot uh, shoot everybody oh, away. And then we have oh yeah, and there's the other sectoid. 
Why not? Let's do a mind control. Oh, sh shit. Um, are you gonna fire or not? Please fire, please kill. I don't even know what you were firing at. This is bad. This has just turned into a fuck show. Wait, wait, did you shoot already? Never mind. Okay. I might be able to kind of save this. Well, I can't save Cecil anymore. Um, oh, this orientation removed already. Oh yeah, this orientation removed, but not the panicking. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Ulrich, how much can you do to save the day? Doesn't seem like you can do much, actually. Because you're just out of reach of pretty much everything, unless I put you on top of this thing, which is not a good idea. Um, how much can you heal? Gremlin heal. Oh, I can actually heal Christoph through the through the mess here. So let's try that. There we go. So that heals the poison and why doesn't it... Oh no. That's revival protocol. Shit. Yeah. Let's do that then. So, Benito no longer panicking. Let's see if we can't get the sectoid over here, I suppose. Just gonna make all the bad decisions, right? Yeah, because this guy isn't even flanked. Let's do that. That actually kills that sectoid. But I'm just gonna die, right? You're not dead yet. He's just gonna slither all in. Yeah. Okay. Not too shabby. That took out that sectoid. Now this mess. How are we gonna solve this mess? Um. Yeah, I got kind of spaced out there, so I I used. This is going really bad. So we lost Harambe. Let's let's summarize quickly. We lost Harambe. Um, we got. Uh, mind controlled, Freya got mind controlled, but Christoph freed him by killing the sectoid. Kind of forgot about that. And then the Viper strung up Benito, which is actually not that bad either. So, if I could just. Because we can't look at anything from here. If I could just get a shot on that Viper, that would be really handy. Um, so, we still have. Ulrich shot as well, but he can't see anything from there, and I don't think he'll see anything if I lower him down, because there's this this stupid little wall in the way. But let's try that anyway. So let's put you down. Let's see what this will do. Okay, so I have a flank shot on the Viper. 
This is gonna have to work, because otherwise... Yeah, we're not gonna have much left. That was a critical! Okay, that's a critical. That's good. So that's... Good. Now I'm just gonna have to... Okay, okay, okay. If I move... Because... Ooh. Wow. Benito has ac actually does have all his mobility. It... Normally they lose mobility if they're strangled, but... The game is acting pretty weird right now. Um, let's move him over here. And then see what shot we can get with uh, Humongous over here. So let's put him right over here. And let's see, what are your shots? 79. 79 is going to have to do. Please. Oh, yes. Oh god, I can finish this. Because Benito still has combat protocol, which which I can uh, guarantee. Yeah, I'm not gonna even take that chance. Combat protocol, guaranteed two damage, which is all we need to kill that sectoid. That was a freaking mess. Wow. I think pretty much everybody got hurt there. And we lost one of our troops. Are down and the area is secure. We're gonna have to buy another rookie. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Two wounded, one killed, and uh, we killed nine enemies. Um, but that was a shit show. All those sectoids and vipers on top of each other. Thank God we even got that uh, that that fucking turret in the beginning, because otherwise we would have been overrun immediately. Um. Yeah, so Benito moved the furthest and got most on the fire, Ulrich made most attacks, and Humongous mo dealt most damage as the healer, for Christ's sake. So yeah, sorry for the, the lack of commentary there at the moment, I uh, lost everything. So with Har Harambe, we actually lost quite a bit, because we lost the expanded magazine, and we lost his uh, guardian ability. So everybody is beaten up, beaten up because of, uh, yeah... Harambe's death killed in action. Cecil Harambe only uh, was with us for two missions. And yeah, that was that was really sad to see him go. But we did get a promotion for Kistov. So let's check that out at least. Conceal or run and gun. So conceal immediately enter concealment once per mission. Which allows us actually to reconceal uh, Kistov after he lost concealment. Um, and now we have run and gun. Take an action after dashing. I think this will keep us out of trouble a lot more than uh, reconcealment. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go with run and gun first. There we go. Damn, that's that's the first guy we lost. So that's probably not the only guy we're gonna lose. So uh, we only have three days that we we lose Kristoff, and Benito has gone for seven because of the strangle. The strangulation of the viper so that was something you haven't seen before as well because vipers can actually pin troops down like that okay uh we only got the corpses as well because the loot expired sadly was that only eight enemies yeah and the, the third wreck we didn't even get hello commander yeah hello you weren't admirable performance yeah we did lose somebody but we did get 150 supplies for that as well and we countered the uh, alloy padding commander as we rapidly develop and deploy advanced new technologies, any recruits you encounter with a proclivity towards the sciences would be of great use to me. Yeah, indeed, because the uh, plated armor is something we're gonna really, really need. And uh, it's going so slowly because we're pretty low on scientists. Well, aside from us getting this ship up and running, which was mostly Dr. Shen's work, I haven't felt particularly useful in a long time. I'm more than happy to leave the hard decisions to the commander. Yeah, of course you are. Gonna leave me with all the work. So we still have 10 troops left, 10 soldiers left. But I'm just gonna check out the recruitment form here and get one of the recruits. Looks like all our custom characters are down below here. I think we can we can use one of the women. So I put the four characters from uh, Ruby uh, in, the in the game as well. Um, because yeah, I really like Ruby. If you don't know Ruby, it's a really nice series by Rooster Teeth. You should check that out right now. Uh, well, wait until the video is over and then you can check that out. So, well, you know what? Let's go for, uh, Yang first. I've always, yeah, I liked Yang, so 
Let's recruit Yang. There we go. Uh, and then we might actually put... Because uh, we lost Harambe. Harambe was a Grenadier. So let's go to the Guerrilla Tactics School. And put Yang in immediately as our Grenadier. Except if we have... No. Let's put Yang down there. So let's put her up as a Grenadier. There we go. So uh, let's let's pay our respects first. Uh, let's go to the... Where is that? Oh, the bar memorial. There we, we go. What we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. I think that's Chaz, Gypsy, and uh, well, the default guy that's uh, sitting at the bar. So let's see the fallen soldiers. Uh, we actually lost a few because, of course, the first two were the tutorial characters. Then Jane Kelly, we uh, accidentally blew up in our first real mission, and then Cecil uh, Bavarius Harambe. That was short-lived, so he dealt 23 damage, made 13 attacks, survived 2 attacks, but then was lost to the beam rifle of a Viper. And uh, he was actually on the, the Avenger for 52 days. Only got 3 kills in that first mission, and didn't do, uh, got to do much in the uh, last mission, but uh, goodbye Harambe. Goodbye, you will be sorely missed. But, no uh, time to mourn the dead. I'm gonna have to head to the bridge immediately and I think I really think we should get uh, plated armor in a minute so mass grave not now I think well you know what let's go to that mass grave Avengers kind of fitting after we lost our first uh, our first soldier a few hours are passing commander the aliens aren't slowing down Oh, We've already got multiple facilities operating across and we have the another world. facility, We're so let's out of time. check that out. Okay, mission is locked over there, and that will add two more ticks to the timer. So the clock is ticking on that as well, so we're going to have to make haste. Uh, so let's scan at those alien alloys. The outcome of this research there we go, plated armor. Advances, Commander. And of course, so we've recovered enough of the advent armor to begin repurposing the outer plates into something better suited to our soldiers. The material itself seems to be the same as what the aliens utilized throughout the Avengers hull. An extremely durable substance with an unusual ambient magnetic property. As an armor component, the magnetic field surrounding these plates will actually provide additional protection against magnetic-based weaponry, most notably the God's weaponry commonly equipped by the Advent. So there we go, the Predator armor, and we have uh, two extra Proving Ground projects available, the Exosuit and the Spider Suit. Get it is armor, the Spider Suit, and the exosuit and then the Adventist advent stun lancer autopsy can now be completed immediately so we'll do that now the advent stun lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units Yes, indeed, although they haven't been able to kill any one of us. Although the Vipers did that. intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers, it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. On both the physical and genetic level, the advanced stun lancers are nearly identical to the troopers our forces regularly see in combat. However, a minor yet crucial adjustment to the muscle fiber density of the Lancer improves both agility and overall survivability. Equipped with non-lethal weapons capable of easily disabling human targets, these Lancers were first deployed during the earliest days following advanced establishment of the city centers, when civil unrest was a more common problem than outright resistance. In studying their usage and deployment, they, this raised an interesting question. If the Lancers were among the first advent forces deployed, then their survivability is somewhat higher than that of the standard trooper, did the aliens consciously reduce the trooper's strength based on their assessment of human combat readiness? This would imply a system of rapid genetic modification beyond the what I had previously imagined the aliens were capable of. It would also demonstrate a degree of genetic fragility, fragility? What the fuck is fragility? That I would have previously assumed was irrelevant to the aliens based on the variety of unusual experiments they've conducted. There we go, the Arc Blade. When pure kinetic energy is no longer sufficient in the field, the Arc Blade may prove necessary. It boosts the standard sword's combat effectiveness with the addition of an electric field capable of stunning enemies that are not killed outright. So we can construct that right now to uh, replace the normal sword. But then, 
We, uh, I do need to take something back from the previous episode. We rushed the research of the gauss weapons, but had half the research time and not just uh, completed it immediately, as I thought would happen. But gauss weapons, I'll here we go. Work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. But now let's go to engineering and uh, construct Commander? some items, because of course we now have the uh, armor available. Uh, that doesn't cost any supplies for some reason. So six advent trooper corpses. Oh yeah, there we go. 150 supplies. Never mind. 150 supplies and 20 alien alloys. We can do that. There we go. The Look at that. And Benito is the, the guy posing. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, knock on wood. Or on uh, plated armor in this case. The predator armor. I'm actually gonna quickly check that out um let's go to the armory in one of the corridors i'm not sure he even noticed me bradford trusts him but i'm still keeping my eyes open yeah you should because uh he has a uh, a lot of scar tissue on the back of his head so we don't really know what that all about but let's see uh let's check that armor out shall we there we go look at that so that gave us i think uh, three extra health, if I'm not mistaken. So that should boost our survivability. Too uh, sad that that came a bit late for Harambe, but... Yeah, never mind, eh? Um, yeah, let's go back to the bridge. And continue scanning. There we go, because in two days we should get skull mining. There we go, skull mining completed. Um, we still have the ammo running as well, I think. Uh, yeah, we still have that as well. Okay, Christoph recovered from his wounds. And a dark event has completed. So the aliens have come to realize the power of information and seek to safeguard it from prying eyes. So that increases our intel costs by 100% for a month. Which means that if we want to make contact, it's just going to be the normal cost. Because we halved it by uh, giving... Well, we found that reduced contact cost thingy on the map. And that caused us to... Uh, well, reduce the cost of that. Um, there's a few alien facilities on the map now. Still quite a ways off. But I think we can more quickly reach that through India, if I'm not mistaken. Because that we... Oh no. It's going to be quicker through Europe. But we can't contact any more uh, areas for now. So we're just going to have to keep scanning. Alien debris cleared. Look at that. So let's... Resistance comes. We have insufficient power. Uh, and I don't want to put a power relay there just yet. Can I remove that already? I can't start doing that. Because if the workshop is completed, we're going to have a lot more uh, engineers available. Well, not real engineers, but... This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems. But we'll need there to we add go. some shielding first to protect the crew. Let's add some shielding to that. And then we're going to have to wait one more day till that workshop is complete. There we go. Workshop there we go, and there's the workshop. The new workshop. I know space. And that is the workshop. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So in the previous game, we got extra engineers from workshop, but they made it a bit more logical that this thing uh, produces gremlins, which can be uh, provide stuff in gremlins. Uh, provide stuff in gremlins. Let's see what we can do now. So we can put a gremlin over here now, if I'm not mistaken. But you know what, let's see. So if I put the engineer we still have available, Daniel Martin over here. So now we got two staffing gremlins, which is good. So now I can put one of those gremlins in the power. So that boosts our Avenger power by five. Uh, so now we have enough to build another room. And then we can swap the engineer in here. So Maria Kuznetsova, we can swap her out with one of the gremlins as well. There we go. And then put that gremlin to work on the... That engineer, I'm sorry. To work on the resistance, resistance columns. There we go. Initiated. And let's let her build that. So in eight days we should have extra uh, options for the resistance columns. And that's... I think that's it. Because we only get two gremlins for now. Which is, yeah, all we can do. We're still pretty good at power by the way so we're not really strapped to uh 
yeah, it's gonna be okay. So let's go back to the bridge, which should get us those alloys. And Yang's training is gonna complete first. So there we go, grenades. Yeah, okay, carry on. And now we have the Gauss weapons will be first. Ooh, yes. Will likely prove crucial to yes, our yes, yes, yes. So, the fact that we now have access to Gauss weaponry that is both combat effective and safe to operate at these power levels is quite an achievement. The overall design relies on advanced miniaturization technologies developed by the aliens, aliens which are frankly well beyond anything conceived of by Earth's leading military development firms at the time of the invasion. Despite our limited capability for extended test firings on board the ship, our latest prototypes are already capable of consistently accelerating an adaptive ALO projectile to over 5000 meters per second in a simulated environment. We're still preparing the final assessment, but it is likely a field deployable unit would have to be limited to a lower power threshold due to the potential for ongoing strain to our troops when operating the weapons. So the weapons would uh, be too heavy for our troops to uh, make them even stronger. But we have the Mac cannon and the Gauss rifle available. So the Ghost Rifle is the Magnetic Sniper Rifle. So the Magnetic Weapons technology has particular utility for pre precision slow fire weapons like Sniper Rifles. The Ghost Rifle will enable our sharpshooters to gra cause greater damage at extended range. So the Ghost Rifle is actually something that exists in real life by the way. The Mag Cannon, so Magnetic Weapons tech will let us de deploy a rapid fire version of the cannon. Our Grenadiers will be able to lay down a much deadlier volume of fire. Uh, so that's that. We could start investigating in Illyrium, which we'll not do right now. I think the most interesting one at the moment is Muton Autopsy, because that would get us the Plasma Grenades. But I think we still have the time for those, so let's go with the Muton Autopsy. Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. So we know the reason for that from the previous game, the metabolism of the muton is enhanced. But as uh, Tygen just stated, the mutons from the previous game were actually even larger than these ones. To Shin, but there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment. Those damn juicy advent burgers. And there we have the burgers again. They get the meat. And frankly, I do not want to know. Yeah, I do not want to know as well. But let's head to the bridge. By the way, the skill, the skull mining, I never showed you that. I've got plenty of time to focus on learning to fly this boat. From what I've seen, you could use the practice. Because Bradford is apparently really bad at flying this ship. Let's check out Benito, because he has the the thingy equipped. What's it called? The the skull jack. Um, which actually boosts, boosts his hacking ability by 25, which is really nice. Or 20, maybe 20. Uh, which will allow him to hack at a better rate. By the way, the plated armor also allows us to uh, bring another utility item. So we'll be uh, able to use that as well. That's actually the bigger reason why I wanted that plated armor. Because now we can have a lot more variety in our troops. Uh, but with that done, let's head to the bridge again. Because we're still not in a mission. Although I do want to wait until Benito is out of Sig Bay, of course. Strategic so the mass located. grave relocated what appeared to be a hastily covered mass grave occupying much of the surrounding area. After reluctantly excavating part of the site, our team discovered several badly wounded sectoid corpses. Their weapons and equipment are still intact and can be disassembled through valuable resources. So there we have the uh, alien alloys back that we spent on the uh, plated armor. And then, I still have to wait to make further contact, so... I think we should just go to HQ and build faster. For the Arctic. Okay, nothing happening on the way. Okay, that seems to be fine. Seems like the timer on the... On the oh, and Benito has recovered from his wounds. That's also incredible. So let's just build faster. Mission. Okay, no. Ooh. So Talon rounds are incredible for shotguns, so Christoph is going to be really happy with this one. These rounds fracture into wicked, m wicked, wicked micro shards of alien alloy on impact, granting plus 20 critical chance 
at all time. And plus one bonus damage on critical hits. So Talon Rans has been added to the inventory. 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 Uh, okay, that's nice. We don't have anything yet in the... Hmm. Let's quickly check my inventory. How much Illyri how many Illyrian cores I still have left. What can I do for you, Commander? No, not build facilities. View inventory. Uh, Lyrium Core 2. You know what? Why not, eh? So let's go to the Proving Ground. And construct another... We could actually make another suit as well. Because the spider suit would be really, really nice. Let's do that. Let's just build the spider suit. I would like the other things as well, but yeah, we're gonna go with the spider Sounds suit. Good, I'm not gonna spend that last Illyrium core. So yeah, there we go. If we get that Europe bonus, that would be really nice, because we could make those on the spot as long as we have the Illyrium cores for it. Um, do I want to pay a visit to the black market? We're starting to run low on supplies, so I'm not going to just yet. Let's just build faster. Supply rate, okay. Finally, another mission and supply rates. Well, we're running low in supply, so that's really good. Uh, Operation Massive Rhyme. Yeah, let's see who we're Setting gonna take. For East Asia. It's not gonna be Harambe, sadly, but we should get some nice stuff from that. And also, by the way, check out. Oh, wait. Oh, and look at what happened to Cedric's outfit. I really. Oh, and wow. They all get spikes. Oh, that's probably because they have the armor from uh, the DLC. Ooh, that is awesome, actually. So the plated armor actually has a different look as well. Really, really nice. Um, I'm quickly gonna check... Yeah, build items. So I can build items. Um, but I don't think... Ooh, damn it. I don't have the supplies to upgrade their weapons. And I don't have the time... Oh, god damn it. I should have paid a visit to the black market. But never mind, we're going to have to make do with what we have. Um, let's see. So we still have a shotgun and the like. So let's see. We can get a third grenade in right now. So that would be really nice because we don't have that many items actually. Well, we can only get... Ooh. Yeah, let's check out really quickly what items we could still use. Uh, mind shield, no, smoke, no. So, increase soldier health. We could do that, but there's so much more we could do. So that's gonna be his uh, outfit. Uh, so let's just give Humongous another grenade. Because we have the extra space right now. We actually have another flashbang as well, so... We'll probably give that to someone else. Um... Kristoff, you're gonna get the Talon Rounds, as I mentioned before. Boosting your critical chance, and with Run and Gun, that's gonna come in really, really handy. Then a grenade added to... Uh, yeah, Minito's arsenal. Let's put that in there, and just give... Yeah, Cedric, we're gonna give you another... Can we give you the flashbang, actually? No, okay, so maximum one grenade per soldier. So you're just gonna... Carry the flashbang then, um, because we might be able to use that. Um, so that's the squad for the next mission. Uh, Operation Massive Rhyme. Yeah, gonna, are we going to do that completely in rhyme then? Don't think we will, but uh, Raid the Advent Convoy going to be for the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. It's going to be uh, it's probably a hell of a long episode and uh, was probably the most exciting one yet, because we almost lost more than one soldier. We only lost Harambe, but yeah. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.